Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about a theorem in geometry known as the triangle angle bisector theorem. So let's read what it states. If a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides, and that means the other two sides of the triangle. So let's look at our diagram and kind of dissect this description. So if a ray bisects an angle, so here's our ray, and this right here is what the definition of bisect means. It's gonna take angle A and it's gonna separate it or uh, divide it, if you will, into two congruent angles. So that's what those little white tick marks mean right there, or those little arcs. So then it says it divides the opposite side. So here's our opposite side, B, D. So it divides it into segments whose lengths are proportional. So here we see B, C over C, D, right? B, C over C, D. Proportional to the lengths of the other two sides of the triangle. So B, A would be here and A, D would be right there, okay? So that's the proportion that we can set up in order to solve some missing measures. So let's take a look at an example. So our example here, we have side length of four right here. We have a side length of 16 down here. We have X is what we're trying to find. And then it tells us instead of giving us this measure of the smaller triangle right there, it gives us the entire length of the larger triangle. So we know if the entire length is 18, this length down here is X. This part right here must be 18 minus X. And so we can use that expression in our ratio or in our proportion now. So we can say, 18 minus x over x is equal to 4 over 16. Okay, let's bump this up just a little bit, give us some more room, work below. All right, now, once again, we can go ahead and cross multiply, but let's go ahead and simplify 4 over 16 just to make the math a little easier for us. So 4 over 16 would just simplify to 1 fourth. We could divide 4 and 16 both by 4. And now we can cross multiply. So x times 1, that's nice because that's just x. And then we can do four times 18 minus x, right? And notice I wrote that, um, I, didn't, I didn't do that in my head right now because I want us to make sure we see that we need to distribute that four. So we need to multiply the 18 and the negative x by four. So we get x equals 72 minus 4x. And now we can add 4x to both sides. So that cancels out the negative 4x on the right and we get 5x equals 72. And now we can divide both sides by five to find our missing measure. And once we do that, we're gonna see that X is equal to 14.4, okay? And that's how you solve for missing side links using the triangle angle bisector theorem.